welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Edwina and this is Versi Color Closet where we love all things colorful in today's video I'm bringing you guys another crochet style and this is this look that I got in less than an hour and a half so without any further ado let's get into today's video when my hair is going to be in protective styles for a while I like to make sure that my scalp is moisturized very well I started with the Cream of Nature leave-in conditioner and I'm following that up with a little bit of shea butter that I'm applying all over my scalp and making sure that it is, you know, massaged through very well. And then to finish that up, I went with an oil that I basically applied to every single part and then I'm adding some more in the palm of my hands so that I can moisturize my ends as you know your ends are the oldest part of your hair so they are the most sensitive and requires the most care lastly I am using my crochet needle to tuck in the ends of my hair underneath the braids so that they could be out of the way the hair that I'm using is by Model Model. It's the Glens Braid in the style Spiral Wand Curl. I am using the color number four. Later on in the video, you'll see that I used a different color, OT30, to insert some highlights. It's so easy to apply crochet braids. I mean, it's super quick. That was half of the first pack. I still have the second half to go and that took about 10 minutes so it's pretty quick i'm continuing to install that second bundle of the first pack as you can see my braiding pattern is really simple i had mostly all of the cornrows headed straight back except for the parts where i need a parting space then i connected two braids together so that i could create that part this is the end of one pack it has taken me 20 minutes to do, so not bad at all. This is the color number four. I have another pack that is OT30, so that one has black on top with a brownish color at the bottom. So I'm gonna be using it kind of like highlights because the rest of the packs are all number four. So I'm just gonna be spreading these, you know, randomly throughout my hair. And yeah. Since I only have one pack of the hair that has the highlight, I decided not to add it to the back since the hair in the front is going to cover all of that hair anyway. So I'm just randomly scattering it around to so that it can actually look like highlights. If you're ever hesitating about adding color to your hair, I feel like this is an easy way to test the waters and see if you like a color. You don't have to use that color all throughout your hair, but using it as a highlight definitely gives you, you know, an idea of how it will look against your skin tone. I really like the way this turned out. So for when you need to part your hair, you have to do two braids like that that connect with each other because that's basically where they connect is where your parting stops. So as you noticed, as I was doing the crochet, I was looping both ends of the hair through the loop. Once you get to the parting space to make it appear neater, instead of looping both ends, you're only going to loop one of them and the other is going to basically cover the knot that it creates. I'm gonna walk through it slowly so you guys can see what I'm talking about in action, but it's super easy. So you insert the hook as usual. You put in the hair on the latch and you close it. And then you pull through. Now this is the part that's different. You still have the loop here and typically you would insert both ends. So now what we're gonna do is just gonna grab one and then you pull and that's it. So basically this creates a nicer way to finish the parting. So for the 
for this braid all of the hair is gonna fall this way and for this braid all of the hair is gonna go over to this side I'm realizing that you can't really see the details of what I'm doing but I hope that I explained it well if you need more explanation or more details I would recommend searching invisible parts for crochet braids on YouTube and you'll definitely find more videos of people that are really showing you how to do it well as you can see the invisible parting method kind of creates a smoother way to you know part your hair where you don't see the actual knot of each braid um, at this point I am going back and adding more hair wherever I'm feeling some gaps but I was pretty much done I also realized at this point that the invisible part that I created was a little too high I prefer my parting to be deeper so in order to fix this I decided to take one strand of crochet hair and connect both braids together so basically that parting stops wherever I'm inserting that strand of hair I hope that makes sense so if you're ever needing to and like do another part where you didn't corn roll two braids together you can just use a strand of hair and that'll fix that so I actually realized that the parting where I did the invisible parting was a little too high so I ended up just connecting the lowest row that where I actually wanted the parting to be and yeah so that one doesn't really have the invisible parting that I was attempting to do but it's okay to finish it up I'm going to use this edge booster I really like this edge control because I feel like it actually has a really good hold and it doesn't leave your hair feeling all cakey and stuff in my last hair video, I mentioned that the Cream of Nature Perfect Edges Edge Control was like a 7 or 8 out of 10. For me, the Edge Booster was a 9 out of 10. Highly recommend. Guys, this is the final look and I am in love with it. Absolutely love this style. I love the color. So as I mentioned, I used the color number 4. And for the highlights, I used the color OT30. This hair is called the Model Model Glens Braid and it is the style Spiral Wand Curl. It's a really pretty curl and it's not that really silky texture. It tries to mimic 4C hair, so it's more of a conecalon. It's very lightweight. You don't feel any weight on your hair. This is great if you're going on vacation and you want something low maintenance that you won't have to do anything to. For the pros, I would say I like the length. I didn't really have to cut it besides the back that there was a couple straggly ends that I just trimmed, but I didn't really have to do any cutting or shaping because the hair is short, it's shoulder length, so it just ends up working out perfectly. I opened four packs and used three and a half. This particular one says 2X on it, which basically means that it has two bundles. So out of the four packs that I opened, I use seven bundles. So I know there are some people that use just two packs and do their hair, but I prefer mine to be really big and voluminous. So that's why I prefer to use a lot more hair. So I use one full pack of the OT30, which is the one with the highlights. And I use two and a half packs of the number four. So in total, it's three and a half packs. At the beauty supply store where I purchased mine, they were $10.99, but they were having a sale where it was buy one, get one free. So I ended up paying 30 something for the six packs that I purchased. So I have enough to do this hairstyle another time. So this hair is definitely available online. I'll be sure to insert a few links for you guys below in the description box. When it comes to the cons, the only thing I can think of is the fact that when you have this much hair, it makes it a little inaccessible to your scalp for you to keep it moisturized on a consistent basis. So that's really the only con for me, but everything else is a pro. It's pretty affordable. It does not take too long to put on. It's lightweight and it comes in a variety of colors. So if you are considering a new hairstyle, I totally recommend this one. 
I can't say enough good things about it. This is really my signature style. I've done so many of these curly shoulder length, you know, types of styles and I absolutely love them. So I highly recommend. So when it is time to go to bed, it's really simple. I use one of these bonnets. This one is a double-sided one that I picked up from the beauty supply store. And the good thing is that it has that satin, you know, finish on both sides so that keeps your hair protected if you don't have a satin pillow um, not that the crochet hair itself needs to be protected but you get the point so basically i also do this when i'm about to take a shower you could use one of these bonnets over your hair and then use a shower cap over that to keep the bonnet from getting wet but even if the hair gets wet nothing happens so you can't go wrong with that so basically you just throw that on like so You just play with it until you make sure that all of the hair is in. I like to move this over my ears just so that I'm comfortable. And that is it. It's out of your face. You can sleep comfortably. Nothing is tight. It's just the best thing ever. If you guys have any questions about this hair, please feel free to drop them below in the comments. I think that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week for another one. Bye guys.